Yes, hi everyone watching us outside there on BTN TV. We are so glad that you tune towards our program to listen to what we say or to follow what we say. Uh, our candidates, please as you follow, make sure you put something in mind. Don't just watch the photos, I leave photos. Follow the steps. Mostly what we are going to do is what is more useful on your side, not the photos moving around or the picture you are seeing on the screen. Uh, my name is Teacher Fred. As usual, for those who have been following our program, they already know me. And they know what we have been doing here. As usual, we are now kicking off with our lesson, still continuing with the Unit 6. And this same round, we are summarizing percentages as we prepare ourselves for ratios tomorrow. However, allow me to go straight on the point or on the lesson of today. Today, I want us still to continue or to proceed with the percentages. And under that percentages, I want us specifically to look at solving problems involving percentages. When we talk about that, we shall come to an example one. What does it say? Example one is saying, Wisdom Center School in Vichesela District registered 1,500 pupils in 2019. That was their enrollment. In the year 2020, the number of pupils increased by 20%. So it means last year, that was 2009, 1,500 pupils. But in this year, 2020, their number of pupils increased by 20% of the old number. So question number one, they are saying, how many pupils were registered in the year 2020? want us to analyze the question and we see what does the question really want us to do. That's what they were trying to mean by problems involving percentages. So when we look at this, they have asked us to find the number of pupils that Wisdom Center School in Vujasera District is having in 2020. But remember, they have given us the number of pupils Wisdom Center was having in 2019. At the same time, after giving us the number of pupils that they were having in 2019, they have now given us the percentage of their increment in number of pupils. Then they want us to find out the total number of pupils that Wisdom Center school in Vujasela is having currently in the year 2020. And how are we going to find out the number of pupils that this school is having in the year 2020? First of all, we have to look at the old number of pupils who were there in 2019. After identifying the number of those pupils that were there in 2019, we shall also have to consider what we call the percentage, the old percentage and the new percentage, and the percentage increase. At the same time, we shall also need to look at the number of pupils who are there now present. Let's straight away come here and identify this. We shall say solution. Normal percentage or old percentage is equal to 100 percent. This is what we call old percentage. Old percentage is equal to 100 percent. Then we shall say percentage increase. Percentage increase. is equal to. So when we look at this, this 1,500 uh, 1, pupils 
are the original number that was increased. That one is considered as the old number of pupils. They were 1,500, but they were increased. As per now, as we consider this as the original number of pupils, we also consider this to be equivalent to 100%, which was the original percentage. Okay? Then from there, we shall say percentage increase. They have said this number of kids increased by 20%. So we shall say percentage increase is equal to 20%. That is what they increased with. Then after increasing, definitely you will come out with the uh, a new percentage because once they talk of an increment just expect change and if they talk about increment then the change you expect should be coming upwards not downwards should be positive on your side should be profitable on your side so when you look at us we shall come and identify the new percentage new percentage What is the new percentage? For us to be in order to identify the new percentage, we are required to get the original percentage, which is 100% plus percentage increase or increment. The percentage they gave us that is increasing the number of pupils at this school in which year 2020. That gives us the new percentage of which year? Now this percentage is for the year 2020. 100% was for the year 2019. Then 120%. When you get 100 plus 20, we shall come out with 120%. So 120% is the new percentage of the year 2020, because there was an increment on original percentage. An original percentage was 100. Then the increment of 20% was also made in 2020, bringing up a total increment or a total percentage increment at 120. So 120% becomes our new percentage of the year 2020. So from there, we shall come here and say, for us to find the number of pupils that are in this school in the year 2020, 20, the year 2020, we shall be required to get our new percentage, which is 120, divided by the original percentage, times the number of pupils that were there in 2019. Because we know 100, 100% was the original percentage with 1,500 pupils as the original number of pupils at Wisdom Center in the year 2019. So from there, we shall continue and say the new percentage, which is 120, then we divide it by the old percentage or the original percentage. The old percentage is the one I'm referring us to, original percentage or old percentage, which is 100. Remember, this is 120% divided by the original percentage times the original number of students or learners or pupils at Wisdom Center. And the original number which was given was for 2019. And how many are they? They are 1,500 pupils. So we shall multiply by the old number of pupils. After multiplying there, we shall come to the next step. Just copy this, uh, the first step the way it is, and we paste it here. Then from there, we cancel out. So I'll come here and say 120% times 1,500 pupils divided by 100%. 
So when we reach this stage, we wonder now to multiply every, uh, to multiply and divide or work out everything, or we solve everything out from this stage. We shall get the units as percentage will go with the, this percentage. Then we shall remain with 100. At the same time, 100 is containing two zeros. I will cancel this first zero with this first zero. The second zero with the second zero. After there, we shall come to identify the next step. The next step is now 120 times 15 divided by 1 is what we are supposed to do. We shall have 120 times 15 divided by 1. And all this will give us pupils. Don't forget units. In this case, pupils becomes our units. Okay. Then from there, when you get 120 times 15, what do we come out with? We shall come and say 120 times 15. Let's work out together. We shall have 5 times 0, which will give us 0. Then we have 5 times 2. It will give us 10. 10, we shall write 0. We regroup 1. At the same time, we shall say 5 times 1. It will give us 5 plus 1. It will give us 6. Write my 6 there. Then from there, I will not stop there. I will continue to the next number, which is under the place value of 10s. So if it is under the place value of 10s, it means the first digit to be multiplied should be written under 10s. So I'll say 1 times 0, it will give us 0. I'll write it under this one because it, 1 it lies under the place value of 10s. Then I'll say 1 times 2, it will give us 2. Then from there, I'll continue and say 1 times 1, it will give us 1. Then from there, we shall have to add. There is nothing we are having here. At the same time, we don't have anything here. So I will put there place holders as zero. Zero, zero, just to hold the place. We call that zero, or we value that zero as a place holder. So from there, I will have to add everything. Zero plus zero, it will give us zero. Zero plus zero, it will give us zero. Eight plus two, it will give us eight. 6 plus 2, it will give us 8. Then 0 plus 1, it will give us 1. Then from there, I'll come and say, therefore, OK, let's come now to the question. They said, how many pupils were registered in 2020? So I'll come and say, therefore, there There were 1,800 pupils registered. There were 1,000. 800 pupils registered in 2020. Then I, under, uh, I get my ruler and I underline my last answer. So let's look at that. When we look at this, you realize that at first, number of pupils in 2019 were 1,500. 
But when you come to 2020, we have 1,800. What does it mean? It means the number of pupils increased. And they increased by how many? By 300 learners or pupils. Because when you get the new number of pupils, 1,800, take away 1,500, you'll come out with an increment of 300 pupils. For example, sometimes they can also say, calculate the number of increment. Calculate the number of pupils of increment. In case they ask you to find the number of pupils who joined the old pupils, then we shall follow the same steps and we shall come out with 300 pupils. We shall get 1,800, take away 1,500, which will give us 300 as the difference. And that difference is the new number, or new learners. And those new learners are the ones we are valuing as an increment. Then when you look, at, uh, we have also another second method. This one, we shall take it as method one. Method, method one. Then let's look at method two to find out the same number. Method two. Method two. I want us to look at that at method two, and we'll see what we have to do. Method two of the number, we shall say, we want to first of all dilute the question the way it is saying. We, have, we are going to find, first of all, the original, we shall say original percentage, as we have already identified, we shall say original, original, Percentage, I'm writing percentage in short. Original percentage will be 100. This is the original percentage of this number. Then from there, I will come here and say original number. Original number of pupils. Original number of pupils will be equal to 1,500 pupils. So, the original percentage is equivalent to the original number of learners. And what is our original percentage? Our original percentage is always 100%. And if it is always 100%, what does it mean? If it is always 100%, we shall simply say 100% is giving us 1,500 pupils. So I'll say 100% is giving us 1,500 pupils. That is what 100% is giving us. That is now the percentage of the year 2000. 19 according to our question. Uh, now if it is giving us 100 100% 100 is giving us 1500 pupils then let's ask ourselves how many pupils are being represented by 1% because right now we know the percentage which is representing 1500 learners. So we shall say, if 100% is representing 1,500 pupils, then 1% will represent, we shall get the number of learners divided by the original percentage. So we shall say 1,500 divided by 100. And all this will be a number of who? pupils. Let's look at it. We have 1,500. We have 1,500 as a numerator. 
Then we have also 100 as a denominator. Let's divide these numbers out. I'll come here and say 1,500 divided by 100. This zero will come out with this zero. This zero will come out with this zero. Remember, all this should be given the units as a pupils. Okay. So we shall continue and say, we have five out of one. This is the same as, uh, we have 15 out of one. It's the same as saying 15 pupils. So what is the implication in this case? The implication is 1% is representing 15 pupils. Then we find out, we come and ask ourselves, if 1% is representing 15 pupils, then what about the increment? Which increment did they give us? They gave us an increment of 20. Children increased by 20%. Okay, so we are going to find the increment of 20%. If we find the increment of 20%, we shall find that increment, then we add on the old number of pupils, we shall come out with the new number of pupils who are at Wisdom Center School in Ujjesera District. So let's look at this. We shall say percentage increase, percentage Percentage increase. Percentage increase was given. Eh? Let's look at this. When you look at the year, they said in the year 2020, the number of pupils increased by 20%. So what does it mean? Percentage increase is 20%. So I will come here and say, my percentage increase is equal to 20%. 20%. Then I ask myself, if 1% gives us 15, then what about 20%? The increment, we are now dealing with the increment. We want to find out the number of people who were increased specifically by 20% of the original number of learners who were at school. So we know very well that 1% is representing 15 pupils. So we shall say 20% if 1% is representing 15. Then I will say 20% will represent 20 times 15. And all this will be number of pupils. Okay, let's see, when you get 15 times 2, that is 30. After getting your 30, we have more 10 zero here. We shall add it here. So we shall come out with 300 pupils. So this 300 pupils is the increment or is the new percentage increment. The new percentage increment, 20% is giving us 300, meaning that in the year 2020, more 300 pupils joined this school known as Wisdom Center. Because it's 20 percent, it is giving us 300 pupils. But what was the question saying? Let's come to the question and find out what it wants. The question is saying, how many pupils were registered in the year 2020. They have not asked for the number of children who just increased, no. They want us to find for them the number of learners who are there in the year 2020. But we know the number of learners who were there in the year 2019. They didn't say that there is any child who left, meaning that if they didn't say that there is any child who left this school, it means all of them are still there. So if they increased by 20% and 20% is giving us 300, then what next? We shall get the original number, which is 100, uh, 1,500.
500 pupils. Then we add the number of pupils who later on joined them in the year 2020. And how many were they? They were 300. According to the, what, uh, according to the percentage increase they gave us, when we worked it out, we realized that 20% is giving us 300. So we shall say new, new number, new number, new number of pupils. New number of pupils will be original number. Or all the number plus new number. All of this, we are now getting the original number. Original number, we have said original number was giving us 1,500. So we shall have 1,500 pupils plus new number of pupils. We have known that 20%, the increment, the, the number of pupils who increased by 20%, that 20% was representing 300 learners or pupils. So we shall get the old number as 1,500 pupils. Then we add the 300 pupils who later on joined these people or who joined others in the year 2020. So I'll add here 300 pupils. After adding that, the total number of pupils we are going to come out with here is the number of pupils who are at that school in which year? 2020. Remember, they were asking for the number of pupils who are there in 2020. So when you get 1,500 plus 300, we shall come out with 1,000 800 pupils and 1,800 pupils they will be now our learners of Wisdom Center School in the uh, in Vigesera district in the year 2020. That will be now our new number 1,800 pupils. That is now our new number of the year 2020. After getting that Get your ruler and underline your work. Underline your answer. After underlining your answer, you can look at it and you realize that the new percentage increment, which was 20%, that 20% is having an impact or an effect of 300 pupils. Let's switch off to another method. Let's look at method three. I will see how we can go through it again. The third one, the third method, I hope everyone was following this first method, so even if I put it off, you have already put it in mind. So the third method will say, we shall look at this. We shall find the new percentage. We know the only percentage, the only percentage as 100 percent. We know percentage, percentage increment, Percentage increment or increase, percentage increment or percentage increase is equal to 20 percent. So, if we, this is the only percentage and this is the new, uh, this is the percentage increase, just know you are, you'll have the old percentage, then you add on the percentage increment to come out with a new percentage. So, we shall say new. Percentage. New percentage will be equivalent to get the old percentage plus the new up, uh, get the old percentage plus percentage 
increment or percentage increase. That is 100%, that is the old percentage, plus percentage increase, that is 20%, according to our question, which will give us a total new percentage increase of 120%. So 120% becomes our new percentage. After getting the old percentage, you add the percentage increment, which will now give us the new percentage as 120%. After getting 120%, what is the next step? We shall get the new percentage for us to find the number of pupils who are there in the year 2020. We shall get the new percentage divided by the old percentage times the old or original number of pupils who were there in, in 2019. So we shall say new, new number of pupils, new number of pupils in 2020 will be equivalent to new percentage new percentage divided by original percentage or all the percentage, you can call it original or all the percentage times all the number or original number of pupils, all the number of pupils. So we know our new percentage as 120. We are now just going to substitute this statement. We shall say our new percentage is equal to 120. So I'll get my 120 percent times the old number of pupils. The old number of pupils, how many are they? According to the question, it said Wisdom Center School in Vichesela District registered 1,500 pupils in 2019, meaning that our old number of students or pupils is 1,500 pupils. So we are going to multiply by 1,500 because 1,500 is our original number of pupils or our old number of pupils. So we'll multiply by 1,500 divided by the original percentage. What is our original percentage or old percentage? Our original or old percentage is equal to 100%. So I'll, multiply, I'll divide it by 100%. Whereby, what I'll come out with should also have the unit. And which unit are we now having here? It is a pupils. The unit we're having here is a pupils. So if the unit is people, let's work out this. I want us now to divide this. Let's just copy the way it is. We paste it here. Then we begin dividing it out. We cancel out from the next step. I will have 120 times 1,500 divided by 100. Then from there, I'll call this pupils. What we are looking for is a number of pupils. Let's see, we shall have this zero crossing out with this zero. We shall have this zero crossing out with this zero also. So in this case, what are we remaining with here? When you look at this number, we are remaining with 120 times 1,5 or 15. Let's multiply this number out. When you get 12 times 15, what do you come out with? 12 times 15. Or else, let's take the whole number we say, this is our side work. 120 times 15. Times 15. So we are multiplying by 15. We shall say 
5 times 0, 0, 5 times 2, 10. 10 we shall write 0, we'll regroup 1 here. 5 times 1, 5 plus 1, 6. Then we come here, 1 times 0, 0. 1 times 2, we shall have 2. 1 times 1, we shall have 1. Then we sum up or we add everything. Let me put placeholders. This is 0, it's got no meaning, but you are just holding the places. So we shall say 0 plus 0, we are now adding. 0 plus 0, we shall have 0. 0 plus 0, 0. 6 plus 2, it will give us 8. 0 plus 1, it will give us 1. So what does it mean? We shall say, therefore, the new number, the new, new number will be 1,800, 1,800 pupils. This was just side work, it's not part of what we are doing. Pupils. Then from there, after getting the number of pupils who are there in 2020, I'll get my ruler and underline my answer. I'll get my ruler and underline my answer. Then that one, I complete with the third method on this example. Those are the methods suggested. You are teachers who are handling mathematics in different schools outside there. For those who are watching us, uh, you'll find out that very many of them have different methods with this. But the suggested methods are these ones. They are the ones I've just suggested and they are the ones I feel like they can work for us better. However, in mathematics, we have very many ways of getting answers. So if you reach your school and your teacher gives you a different method, don't argue that this is not correct. It may be correct at the same time as long as it gives you the correct answer. So always follow your teachers, follow our program, compare our program with rich school. You can ask many questions as much as possible to enable you understand more. In case for those who have just joined us on the way, who found the lesson on, who would like to switch on and have just maybe reached on the way, please don't worry. You can also review this lesson through the journals of BTN TV. Uh, you, can ch you can subscribe there, YouTube, you can subscribe there, accounts of uh, Twitter, Facebook, and so on. Everywhere you can access that work. Meanwhile, let's go to the last example. We look at it, what does it say? We want the last example. The last example was saying, Mr. Kalema Steven bought a shirt at 10,000 francs. He later sold it to his brother, God, making a loss of 30%. How much money did he sell the shirt? So when you look at this question here, it is a little bit different from the first one. Making a loss of 30%. If you make a loss, it means what you invested comes down. If you put there 10,000, then you are not supposed to get 10,000 or more than 10,000. You are supposed to get less than 10,000. That is what simply mean by the term loss. So since they have talked about loss of 30%, we want to look at how can we find the percentage that Kalema Steven remained with, Mr. Kalema Steven remained with, because he made a loss of 30%. The first thing we need to do is, let's first of all identify the old percentage, and we say original, original percentage, Original percentage is ever 100 percent, okay? That is the original percentage. Then after identifying the original percentage, let's also identify the original amount of money this person has, original amount of money. So we shall say original amount, original amount, 
How much did this person have at first? He had 10,000, which he used to buy his shirt. He bought it at 10,000, meaning that he had 10,000. So our original price or our original money, it is 10,000. From there, we shall come and continue by saying, let's identify the percentage loss. We shall say percentage, percentage loss. What is the percentage loss? According to our question, they said, Mr. Kalema Steven bought a shirt at 10,000 francs. He later sold it to his brother, God, and uh, while making a loss of 30%. So he made a loss of 30%. That is the loss he made. So percentage loss will be equal to 30%. You ask yourself, if you make a loss of 30%, just know what you are having is going to decrease. If you have 100%, you make a loss of 30%. So we know the percentage loss as 30%, okay? After there, we can also say 100%, which was the original percentage, gives us the original amount of money. So we shall say 100%, that was the original percentage, gives us the original amount, which was 100, I mean 10,000 francs. According to the question, this is our original amount. So 100% gives us the original amount as 100. Then from there we shall say, what about 1%? What about 1%? We will now want to find out. We know very, very well that 100% gives us 10,000. What about 1%? If you know 100%, then we need to find out the amount which is being represented by 1%. Because we know already what is being represented by 100. So for us to find out 1%, we shall get 1% is equal to 10,000, is equal to 10,000 francs, divided by 100. Okay? By doing this, we are finding the pass, uh, we are finding what is being represented by 1%. So I'll copy it where it is. I will say this is 10,000 divided by 100. Remember, we are dealing with francs. Then I'll say this zero will go with this zero. This zero will go with this zero. What are we remaining with? We are remaining with 100 out of 1, which is equal to, we shall say 1%. Now we are making 1%. 1% represents 100 francs. So 1% is representing 100 francs. Now, let's look at this. What does the question want us to do? They say, how much money did he sell the shirt? But remember, when he, sold, he bought the shirt, he bought it at 10,000. And when he was selling it, he made a loss of 30%, okay? Now, we want to find the loss. Which loss did he make? He made a loss of 30%. We know 1% is representing 100. What about 30%? So let's come here and say loss. He made a loss of 30%. 30%. So we shall say 1% is representing 100 francs. That is 1%. Is representing 100 francs. But loss wasn't 1%. Loss was 30%. So we shall say 30% will be equal to 30 times 100. All this should be francs. All that should be in francs. From there, when you get 30 times 100, we shall come out with 3,000 francs. And now 3,000 becomes our loss. Because they say 30% was the loss, and we know 1% represents 100. Then 30% is representing 
thousand. So three thousand becomes the laws that Mr. Kalema Stephen made while selling uh, his shirt to the brother. So from there, for us to find the amount, they say how much money did he sell the shirt? For us to find the amount he sold, we shall say original percentage, we don't know. Even if we don't, we don't use that, we shall get the original money. We shall get the original money. Original money or amount. Original amount. Minus loss. I can also say buying price minus loss. Okay, so here for us to get the amount that he sold, we shall say selling price is equal to buying price minus loss, isn't it? We shall say finding selling price is equal to buying price, buying price. Buying price minus loss. Remember, buying price is the original amount he had, or the old amount he had. Then from there, we shall say selling price will be equivalent to he had 10,000, according to our question, that is the money he had, uh, the money he spent on a shirt. It was 10,000. So we shall have 10,000 francs minus the loss. Which one is the loss? Loss is 30,000, uh, 3,000. So we shall subtract 3,000 francs. When you get 10,000 francs minus 3,000 francs, it will give us 7,000 francs. Therefore, selling price Selling price is equal to 7,000 francs. Then from there I'll get my ruler and underline my answer. I'll get my ruler and underline my answer. So, with example two, I would like to use only one method, but you can also use the other methods I was using on method one to find out everything here. You can also use another method instead of finding loss, you just get 70%, then you find the 70%, what it represents, it also gives you the same answer. Meanwhile, I would like to wind up with my lesson, but as I wind up with my lesson, those who have been following us, more so the candidates outside there who are, who are viewing this program, I would like to leave you with this activity to work it out. When you work it out, when time for schools come, when you get back to school, just get that work, give it to your mathematics teacher, will guide you, will mark you, and will help you to correct you in case you have not gone through well. Question one, what does it say? Question one is saying, get prepared. Question one. Question one. Question one says, Kenya, Kenya bought a phone at 100,000 francs and sold it to Brian, making a loss of 17%. Full stop. Calculate the amount. Calculate the amount. Calculate the amount. The phone was sold at. Calculate the amount. The phone was sold at. Question number two. Two. 
Question number two says, Rashiz, Rashiz bought a car and a letter sold it, bought a car and a letter sold it at Four hundred fifty thousand, making a loss of twenty five percent of twenty five percent. Full stop. Find 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 the buying price find the buying price find the buying price lastly but not least lastly but not least lastly but not least Quizera bought five books at 20,000 and later on sold them, sold them to a larger, making a profit of 80%. Full stop. Work out, work out the amount, work out the amount books were sold at. Work out the amount the books were sold at. Yeah, thank you very much for those who have been watching the lesson, I think. You have seen where we have gone and those who have written those questions, please take your time and work them out. As you work them out, be lenient. As you work them out, be focused. As you work them out, present them to your mathematics teachers in different schools when schools open. Meanwhile, as you present make sure you make a follow-up. The teacher will guide you, will even give you more exercises related to this work we've done. However, for those who joined us on the way, who did not begin with us, if you wish to have the same piece of work, you can simply just go and subscribe BTN journals, check on their YouTube journals, check on their Twitter accounts, check on their Instagrams, check on Facebook, check on Wisdom website, and uh, Facebook, you'll find everything there. Meanwhile, we wish you the best. As you take note, we're in a critical conditions where it requires to stay at home. Please stay at home as instructed by the government of Rwanda and any other government. That is the best preventive measure. We shall add on tomorrow from there. Thank you. <laughs>